So tonight my next door neighbors are gonna be hosting a movie night in their backyard, just back over here. And so I thought I'd take the opportunity to um, show dominance in the lawn by doing some full length stripes this morning. So hopefully by the time uh, the movie starts, it will uh, show up really nice from their side of the yard. So now that's taken care of, we can go ahead and get started on the project for today, the big project, which is raising up the sprinkler heads uh, in, the, in the dirt so that they come up um, higher out of the soil and we get better coverage um, when, when we water the grass. Um, I'll show you a couple examples here of what's going on. Uh, the biggest problem is it's just, it's settled. The, the soil has settled a lot um, in the last few years since the sprinklers were installed and we just need to raise them up and it's a pretty simple process. So here's one of the minor examples in the yard, which is kind of funny because this actually needs to come up pretty significantly. Um, you can see here that um, the grass line is about three inches would probably be safe for this one. Uh, so we'll need to put a three inch riser in there and bring it up more towards grade. So this is a more, one of the more extreme ones, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Um, I did have to pull back a lot of grass just to even find the sprinkler, um, but it looks like this one will come up about three inches as well. So like I said, the process is really pretty simple. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig out around the sprinkler head and make sure that there's enough room to get in there and work. And from there, we will rock the sprinkler head back and forth um, to compact any soil that surrounds it so it doesn't fall into the pipes. And then we can twist and unscrew the sprinkler head out and um, measure out our rising, or our riser, measure out our riser and uh, put it in the pipe. And then we can attach our sprinkler or reattach our sprinkler um, to the riser and um, return the grass to its, its spot that we cut it out from. about even with the top of the grass there. So when we mow over it, we won't hit it. Be careful when you're cutting around the sprinkler head to get the grass out because you can cut right through the pipe. Whoops. There's the other piece right there. So what we'll do is we'll cut this off and we'll try and fit that piece back into this piece here. And we shoved it back in there and you can see it's pretty well connected. We'll put a slice back in the chunk of grass here so we can wrap it around the sprinkler. What do you want? And to? go from there. I'm not afraid to
done. Um, learned a couple of things along the way. Um, the first thing I learned was that it's a good idea once you get the grass out and you've exposed the sprinkler head um, to kind of shake it around, push it against the different walls of dirt and, and compact that soil. Uh, that way nothing falls into the, into the pipe when you unscrew the sprinkler head. And the second thing I learned was be very, very, very careful with your shovel when you're cutting out the sprinklers or when you're cutting out the grass around the sprinkler head uh, because if you go too far down, you're gonna break the pipe, which is what I did. So um, luckily for us, everything turned out okay. Um, not a big deal, we'll keep an eye on it, and if we need to, we'll dig back in there and we'll do a, a complete fix. Um, but for now, everything seems to be looking good. Um, we tested all the sprinklers uh, that we fixed, and everything looks great. And it's nice to see uh, that the sprinklers are coming up um, much higher than they were and we're getting better coverage. I also noticed that there were a couple other sprinkler heads that I didn't realize were there. And so we can go back later um, with a couple extra risers. I have to go to the store because we actually bought what we thought was more than we needed, but it ended up being not enough. We probably need two or three more uh, to go back and, and, and do uh, to really finish that project up. So for now, it's it's good enough, and I'm, I'm totally satisfied. I'm glad my dad could come over and help me. He's always a big help. It's nice to have him really close by. With that, that's the end of this one. I uh, hope that was helpful, and we'll see you in the next one.